everyone, it's Mrs. Davis. Welcome to Storytime. Today we'll be reading stories about bears and singing songs about bears. And I brought my favorite bear with me today. Bear, would you like to say hello? If you have a favorite teddy bear or stuffed animal, go ahead and grab it and you can use it later when we do our bear song. I'm going to set my bear right down here on the floor and why don't we get started. The first book I'm going to read today is called If You Were a Panda Bear by Florence and Wendell Minor. If you were a panda bear, guess what you'd wear? A black and white suit and eye patches. How cute. You'd be very shy. You'd eat lots of bamboo. Then you'd take a long nap. What a good thing to do. If you were a sloth bear with long claws and strange hair, friends might think you look funny, but you wouldn't care. If you were a polar bear, you'd be as white as the snow. You could peek through the ice. See any seals? Who knows? If you were a black bear, you'd love to climb trees. You'd watch your cubs nip and bite and say, play nicely, please. If you were a moon bear, you'd stay out late at night and the mark on your chest would look just like the light. If you were a sun bear, you'd have a long tongue to help you get honey. Be careful, don't get stung. If you were a grizzly bear, you'd stand tall as 10 feet. You'd love catching salmon with your paws and your teeth. If you were a speckled bear, you'd have furry eyeglasses. And when you went to school, you'd look smart in all your classes. But if you were a teddy bear, that might be best. What a cozy life you'd have in your teddy bear nest. The end. Now, if you grab a teddy bear or a stuffed animal and have it ready, we're gonna do a song that's called Hug Your Bear. And all you have to do in this song is hug your bear and hold him up in the air and help him fly. And the song goes like this. Hug, hug, hug your bear, squeeze him very tight. Hold him high, help him fly, then hug with all your might. Wanna try it with me? Okay, you ready? Hug, hug, hug your bear, squeeze him very tight. Hold him high and help him fly, then hug with all your might. One more time, ready? Hug, hug, hug your bear, squeeze him very tight. Hold him high and help him fly, then hug with all your might. Good job, everyone. Now I have another book to read about a bear, and this one is called There's a Bear on My Chair, and it's by Ross Collins. This is kind of a silly one. There's a bear on my chair. He is so big it's hard to share. There isn't any room to spare. We do not make a happy pair. A mouse and a bear and just one chair. When I give him the nasty glare, he seems completely unaware. I don't know what he's doing there, that bear who's sitting on my chair. I must admit he has some flair. He has fine taste in leisure wear. I'm fond of how he does his hair, but I still wish he was not there. I'll try to tempt him with a pair to lure him from my favorite chair, but he just goes on sitting there. Why won't he go back to his lair? Doesn't look like that bear's gonna get up, do you think? Maybe I'll give him a scare. I'll jump out in my underwear. But no, of course, he does not care. That stinky bear sat on my chair. 
I understand that bears are rare. I know they need the utmost care. I know all that, I am aware. But still, I cannot stand this bear. And does the mouse look happy? No. Does the bear look happy? No. That's it. I'm done. I do declare. This bear has led me to despair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm going now, and I don't know where. Did you see the mouse any place? And what did the bear do? Did he finally get out of the chair? Oh, where's that bear going? Is he going up here? I think this is his house. That's his lair. Hey, there's a mouse in my house. And where did that mouse go? He went to Bear's house. And what is he laying in? Yep, he's laying in Bear's bed. The end. Now we have a song to sing. It's called Five in the Bed. But before we start, let's look at all these bears I have up here in this bed. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Now, can you help me guess the colors? You know what color this is? Right, red, yellow, that's right, blue, pink, and green. So in the song, when I say, roll over, roll over, you're gonna twirl your arms around like this. So the song goes like this. There were five in the bed and the red one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and the green one fell out. There were four in the bed and the red one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and the pink one fell out. There were three in the bed and the red one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and the blue one fell out. There were two in the bed and the red one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and the yellow one fell out. There was one in the bed and the red one said, I'm lonely, I'm lonely. Wasn't that a silly song, boys and girls? That's right. Now the last book I'm gonna read is called Thank You Bear. And this is by Greg Foley. And this book was written for anyone who ever thought they had something great. Early one morning, Little Bear found a box. He looked inside and said, why, this is the greatest thing ever. Mouse will love this. On his way to find the mouse, he showed it to Monkey, and Monkey said, that's not so great. He showed it to the owl, and the owl said, I've seen those before. He showed it to the fox, and the fox said, you're holding it the wrong way. He showed it to the elephant, and the elephant said, I think it's too small. He showed it to the squirrel, and the squirrel said, it would be better if you gave it to me. He showed it to the bunny, but the bunny says, I don't have time to look right now. The little bear stopped. He wondered whether it was so great after all. While he was wondering, Mouse came along and asked what he had. He put the box down on the ground and showed it to Mouse. Mouse looked at it this way and that way. Then Mouse crawled inside the empty box and said, this is the greatest thing ever. Thank you, Bear. The end. That was a nice story, wasn't it? Now, before we go, we have one more bear song to sing. So grab your teddy bear or your stuffed animal. And this one is called, Did You Ever See a Teddy Bear? And it goes like this. Did you ever see a teddy bear, a teddy bear, a teddy bear? Did you ever see a teddy bear go this way and that? 
go this way and that way and this way and that way. Did you ever see a teddy bear go this way and that? Now you can turn your bear any way you want. You can turn them upside down or put them way up high or down low, however you want them to move. So let's sing it one more time together. Ready? Did you ever see a teddy bear, a teddy bear, a teddy bear? Did you ever see a teddy bear go this way and that? Go this way and that way and this way and that way. Did you ever see a teddy bear go this way and that? Well, I want to thank you all for watching today. I hope to see you again. Have a great week. And Bear wants to say goodbye. Bye-bye, everyone.